So I, I started talking to, to Tiu uh, a couple of months ago. He was interested in a buffalo hunt. Um, originally, he was interested in just the experience. He didn't really care about a, a trophy bull or anything like that. He just wanted the, the experience of hunting dangerous game. So initially, we, we talked about a, a management, a, a cull buffalo bull. We had one that was also a problem bull, um, a little bit bad genetics. It's one that you want to take out of the herd. You don't want it to continue on breeding. So that's how it all started. I was before hunting one year in Namibia. I had also some nice animals. And uh, I was planning this trip already last year but uh, I had some problems to get the visa so I made it after the new year in January and I saw some nice uh, Cape Buffalo I wanted I, like if I want to go to hunt the Cape Buffalo I want to go to the South Africa to hunt it so that's the main reason I that's the main reason I chose uh, South Africa to hunt the buffalo. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty, to you. Um, we got into camp late afternoon. Long drive yesterday. Luckily, you were sleeping most of it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just um, had some good breakfast this morning. Are you ready to go to the shooting yes. range and start the day? Let's go. Are you excited? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the plan is we're gonna head off to the shooting range. And then we're gonna start by driving around, see where some buffalo activity and see if we can't get lucky on some tracks maybe and yeah, that's the plan is. Okay, let's let's start. Alrighty, <laughs> let's go. You can jump on the It's a Barnes bullet. It's a monolithic expandable bullet. It's when you when you shoot it's it. Like, like half half. Yeah, the bottom the, the bottom part is a solid shank and basically it pedals up. It makes four pedals. Mm. So very good weight retention. Good premium mounting bullet for dangerous game. I think it's hundred dollars a shot, something like that. <laughs> so shoot! <laughs> <laughs> oh, mm. left up. Huh? Mm. Tia, what do you say? Are you happy with the guns? Yeah, the shooting is good. So I think we are ready to go. After the range, we, we went out. Initially, I want a cave buffalo, but uh, I had a lot of days, so first we went out to we spot some nice impala, and then we decided to take it. It's also a little bit uh, of practice and to get confident with the gun and relaxed. And we made a short stock. It was uh, a lot of impalas. And then we were waiting a bit to one to separate and then I took it a shot and after 20 yards it was down. Good that we understand each other which one to shoot. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Congratulations! Thank you. Here, go, go. What do you think of your Impala? So I'm sitting here with, with Theo. Um, this is our first morning and um, your first animal. Congratulations. Uh, Thank you. You shot a, a nice Impala. Um, yeah, it's after, a, after a good breakfast, we decided <laughs> to go take a drive and not too long we, we bumped into some Impala, but they gave us a slip and we managed mm -hmm. to find another bachelor herd of nice males and you made a very good shot. Thank uh, you very much. Yeah, what do you think of the Impalas? It's very nice and it was not too far and it didn't run away too far no i, th <laughs> I think it went about 20 yards so that's yeah. a we could not ask for anything better good shot good impala um yeah looking good <laughs> <laughs> Good exercise to, to warm up for a buffalo. So after the impala, we went to, we went around and we spotted one nice blue wildebeest, a beautiful male, and uh, we also stopped a little bit further. Then we, we went through the bush so he doesn't notice us. So it's also initially not one that was on Theo's list, um, but after spotting a couple of them, we told him about the, the reputation of, of blue wildebeest, or what we also call them poor man's buffalo. So blue wildebeest that are very tough animals, um, he, was, he was up for the challenge. It was actually a good shot, but he went like 50 yards or so, and then I just make one more shot to make it sure. Justin say, wait, wait, but it was too late, I already took the shot. Wait. Yeah. Second shot was also a perfect shot. All the beast went down there in its tracks. Um, and we, once we got up to the bull, it was a beautiful blue wildebeest trophy. Los. Los. Congratulations! Thank you. <laughs> very, very nice. Thank you. Beautiful. Yeah. Nice blue. Biggest one you ever shot? Yes. <laughs> yeah, here you go. <laughs> He's got big bosses on him. Look at this. We got a beautiful blue wildebeest in front of us. It's his first one and the, the biggest one he ever shot. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. You made a very good shot on this beautiful bull. Um, yeah, it's not bad for a first day. Two good animals. Um, still haven't seen any buffalo we want to take around so uh, hopefully later during the trip we'll get lucky on the buffalo but you started off with a, a poor man's buffalo so congratulations on this beautiful bull um, what do you think of it it was very interesting with the first shot I was not very sure because he started running very fast so I took a second shot but even when I took it I saw that he started to to falling down already but yeah. sure it's sure, sure. So we don't have to 
look at yeah. look for it far. <laughs> now always incentive incentive shot is always um, recommended when you're not sure on on animals, especially on on strong African animals. So uh, you did very well, and thank you once again for being here and congratulations. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Well done and an awesome day. Just Another well good day. Thank you guys. Thank you. Mm. Morning guys. Uh, we got up early this morning. Um, as you all know, best time for Buffalo is always early morning and late afternoon. So yeah, you have to do what you need to do. Um, we started off by having some, some coffee and some rusks and we're gonna start driving around see if we can't pick up some buffalo tracks and some buffalo activity and see if we can't get old Let's go. Teal here on the buffalo. So yeah, he's excited. We're excited. Let's do it. So one of the other animals we spotted while we were on on the search for this um, rogue buffalo bull, um, we drove past this one area, a bit of a rocky area, and we spotted a huge tiger, common tiger. And we tried to convince you that this is a it's a very good opportunity at this animal. It's not your average size. It's a it's just a a very big common tiger, and. A he wasn't interested in it, he just had buffalo on his mind. <laughs> I'm looking for a buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, uh, we just spotted some buffalo around the corner here, so we just want to have a look, see if there's any bulls in there, and then, yeah, we'll take it from there. Initially we left it and we went past and we went to a different area and eventually we circled back and sure as luck would have it this biker was in the same area once again and it didn't take much convincing to me to to ask you if he's not going to take it would he have a, a problem if, if I take the opportunity to harvest this beautiful biker. Los. We tried to convince um, Tiwi over here, nah. but yeah, now that you see them up close, what do you think of them? They're still small. <laughs> still small, but they're beautiful. <laughs> Look how lost them. So he should he should make a perfect shot, and actually it's it's a beautiful dagger. He gets a really nice trophy. Alrighty guys, I'm, I'm laying here next to a, a beautiful common diker. Um, earlier in the video we mentioned we spotted one which was a very good trophy. Um, and we circled back to this area trying to figure out where the buffalo tracks are heading and the next moment we bumped into the same diker and like we said earlier, sometimes when a, when a good opportunity presents itself on a, on a good trophy animal, someone needs to step up and, <laughs> and take it. So um, Tiu gave me the, the go aid, um, we grabbed the rifle, um, he ran off and stopped a little bit further, turned broadside and ma managed to make a good shot. So this is the end result, a beautiful common diker here in the Limpopo province.
So the main reason Hugh came to South Africa to hunt with us was to get his Cape Buffalo. And like we said earlier, initially it was just a, a, a hunt to, to experience the, the thrill of hunting dangerous game. And then it turned out to, to be a hunt for a, a big trophy Cape Buffalo. We just spotted a nice buffalo now. Um, you know what you do on the shoulder after your first shot, reload. Um, if you have a good shot, you can put another one in him. Um, yeah, make sure the rifle is in a safe direction. And let's go see if we can't get the buffalo. Let's go. Wait till he turns, wait, wait. Okay. Okay, wait. Let's wait. He's going down. Good shooting. You mm. wait a bit, huh? Yeah. Rechery doppie, James. First shot was a perfect shot. We were looking for him for several days because he was hiding in thick bushes and and one day when we spot him we we went slowly to a stock to to get closer to him to to get a nice shot. And Justin told me like wait for him to turn nicely to make a perfect shoulder shot and when it turn like he made first perfect shot he start running maybe 30 40 yards i quickly reload and i put another shoulder shot from another side and that was it he was still struggling a bit we went a little bit closer slowly and then uh, when we came really close he kicked his back leg one more time it was a bit scary for me because i was uh, first time first time that close up to a very big buffalo it was a bit scary but you know when you have a good ph next to you it's everything easier hold out your hand a little bit hmm? hold out your hand yeah. huh? <laughs> a little bit <laughs> very nice buffalo yeah huh? he's still Moving a bit, huh? Big buffalo. Mm -hmm. From this side. Congratulations. Thank you. It's a very, <laughs> very nice buffalo and good shot. Yes. Oh. <laughs> You know what's the base part? It's a good place to load it. Yeah, not too far <laughs> from the road. <laughs> yeah. Really. <laughs> Excellent job. Perfect, first shot. First shot, it was a dead buffalo. Perfect, perfect shot. Hello, guys. Um, yeah, I, I don't know where to start. Um, we're standing here behind a, a beautiful buffalo. Um, Tew managed to, to get this beautiful bull about an half an hour or what ago. Um, took us some time to 
to find a, a big bull, a good bull, but um, we finally found one. Congratulations, it's a hell of a Thank nice you. buffalo. Yeah. Um, you made a perfect shot right on the shoulder, probably a hard shot. Um, you went about 20 yards, start spinning around. You gave it another follow-up shot also in the shoulder on the heart and the bull just stayed down. So um, you did very well. Excellent, yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Beautiful buffalo. Tell us about it. Oh, did you tell me before I came that you have a problematic bull? No, we didn't. Um, so on your... Because, because I think I dream about it before I came here. Well, that's a very <laughs> so good thing how, then. <laughs> how, how do they say, I, I think I manifest the bull. <laughs> <laughs> well, it worked out good in your favor. So like he was saying is, um, Initially, he decided to come for a, a management bull hunt and on arrival, we, we told him there was an option at a, a great buffalo, if we can find him, of course, a problematic buffalo. Uh, one that was uh, just causing havoc as he, he went chasing the, the farm workers and vehicles and breaking the fences and he actually killed one of the other buffaloes, one of the younger bulls, so he was uh, one that we really wanted to take out and it took us some time to get him but we we finally got him and you have a, a beautiful trophy excellent trophy <laughs> congratulations yeah. once again thank you yeah we a buffalo there's no reason to be a cowboy always approach with caution caution um, and big rifles which you are very comfortable in shooting. That's the main thing to always remember when hunting dangerous game. Uh, when we got up to the buffalo, you can just see the smile on, on Tiu's face. It, um, it's it's it a, a thousand words. After the buffalo later that day, we were actually on our way back to camp later that afternoon and the whole time we, we bumped into some zebras and we saw zebras and it didn't take too long for you to, to decide he, he wants a zebra rug. We made a couple of stalks and every time we bump into the zebra there's blue wildebeest nearby and they just busted us and kept on running. Wildebeest is always a pain when they're in a big herd like that. But luckily the big stallion we were trying to get was just standing there looking at us and he shot him right on the shoulder and the zebra once again he didn't go too far. He made short work of it, probably 20, 30, yeah, 20, 30 meters maximum. And there was a beautiful zebra on the ground. Good shot. What happened with this one? Here's a zebra. Yeah. See him? Yes, he is. Still turning. That was a good shot. See him jumping around there. Yeah, it's, it's down. Yeah, it's down. Right? <laughs> it's not moving. <laughs> good job. <laughs> good that it was free. Good job! Thank you. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Los Lucua. Beautiful, beautiful zebra. Found the entrance. Yeah. 
it's a she. Cool. Hello guys, I'm sitting here with Tiu again. Um, we shot a beautiful buffalo this morning, actually a little bit closer to lunch time. And uh, we had some good lunch, took a little siesta and we decided to go for a little drive just to see what's out there a bit. And we bumped into some zebras and uh, first initial stalk we made, they, they got away from us, but luckily we knew in which direction they were going. Uh, we followed up, made a stalk, um, Tiu made a perfect shot right on the shoulder big old stallion uh, he shot a beautiful zebra congratulations thank you. you're a very good shot and a good hunter so tell us a thank little bit much. what do you think of a, of a zebra it's the, the most beautiful one that I have shot <laughs> <laughs> and the only one you have shot only one yes <laughs> yeah now thank you uh, once again for being here congratulations on all your trophies uh, thank you looking forward to what the next couple of days might hold in for us, us. Cheers my friend, congratulations on a great buffalo today, great zebra, great hunt so far. Um, yeah, uh, we're having a blast, we're looking forward to the uh, next couple of days. Um, it's always exciting, you never know what might happen, what animals might pop up. It was an excellent day. Cheers. Cheers. everyone um, we're just busy getting ready we just had uh, another good breakfast and we're all excited about the day slept well and we're gonna head out and see if we can't uh, find some more animals um, Dew said he might be interested in a Nyala possibly a sable um, and then we're gonna try and get him another Impala for um, certain reasons I can't say on camera so um, yeah that's the plan for the day we're excited um, we'll keep you posted Follow us for the next adventure. Ready to go? No, no. <laughs> I see some big tracks in between these ones, so I think there is some bulls here, definitely. <laughs> Um, we just spotted the sable um, in front of us here not too far um, so we're just gonna try and make a little stalk see if it's a good enough one to take and then um, yeah we'll let you do your thing let's go That was a good shot. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> uh, normally, when an animal is shot, uh, wounded or shot good, it, the, ten, the track tends to open up like this. So that's uh, how you can always make sure you're on the right track. Just to make sure you follow the one that's opening up in front. There's some blood. Come sit. Come sit. This is the one though. Good girl. Good girl. Good big one. Congratulations. Thank you. I know. It's too big, right? Yeah, it's too big. We're gonna have to cut some of it off. <laughs> so strong. Yeah, you happy? Yes. Excellent bull. Biggest one you ever shot? Biggest one, the most beautiful. <laughs> Big base. Yeah.
beautiful trophy. Hello guys, I'm sitting here with Theo again this morning. Um, we just had a good breakfast and we had a very big day yesterday. We managed to get a big diker, massive buffalo, good zebra. And yeah, this morning we decided just to actually take it easy, go out for a drive. And um, once uh, Theo really saw some sables up close, he kind of fell in love with them. And <laughs> this is the end result. Uh, hour or two later we managed to bump into a beautiful sable bull and you made a, a perfect shot right on the shoulder where you went about 80 yards and this is the beautiful animal in front of us congratulations on a beautiful sable thank you uh what do you think of him it's beautiful i just think what to do what kind of mount it's a beautiful trophy yeah my first and your biggest my biggest yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, I think a full mount is definitely uh, good for an animal <laughs> like this. You get all the mane, the horns, the color, everything in. <laughs> Congratulations once again on a beautiful Thank you. sable. <laughs> One thirty in the afternoon, the baboon showed up. Alrighty, you guys will see we threw out a nice fresh bucket of um, intestines and all the insides of the stomach and lungs. And so, as you all know, or if you didn't know, uh, bush pigs are omnivores. They eat everything, meat, corn, vegetables, whatever you put out, they'll eat. So what we've seen in the, in the past is this certain group of um, bush pigs, they prefer rotten meat and intestines. So we've had the corn here and doesn't seem to tickle their fancy too much. So we decided to spice it up a bit with some nice stinky <laughs> guts. So let's hope it works. Don't shoot again. <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> I'm just watching. Well, that happened very, very quickly. <laughs> Good shooting. Thank you. <laughs> and I spot him. That yes, happened. and you spot him. <laughs> yeah, full, close. There we go. Let's go have a look. We we passed and I was like, Niel? Or is it a young a young kudu? And then we stopped, we came back. Yeah. It was Niel. <laughs> so we were actually on our way back to camp, just put out some bush pig bait. And while we're driving, um, Tiu said, What was that? Was it a small kudu? So we backed up and we looked and it was a big Niala. So <laughs> let's go have a look at him. Beautiful, beautiful Nyala bull. So like we said, Nyala is kind of difficult to get because I like staying in the thick brush. So as you can see, they're about 20 yards away from it, just came out. So we were lucky to spot him and to get opportunity. <laughs> Well done. 
Gut. <laughs> so nyalas are, are a very special special animal and they're part of the spiral horned antelopes. So you'll get the, the kuru, the nyala, the bushbuck and the eland. Nyala probably for me is the most prettiest one of them all. Um, we also showed you the markings on the face. You have the, the spots here on the side and on the, on the nose you've got a white marking. So we gave him a bit of um, history, a bit of culture on it. And we told him this is where, where, where God grabbed him and the marks is where his fingers touched. And he marked the Nyala with his, with his fingers on the nose. And he said, you're my most beautiful creation. So that's what, what makes a Nyala special to all of us as well. It's, a, it's just a beautiful animal. Just a special trophy to, to harvest. We're sitting here um, next to a beautiful Nyala bull. Do you manage to make a perfect shot of him right on the shoulder? It happened all very quickly. As you guys will hear in the, in the video, we were actually on our way back from putting out some bush pig bait, and then all of a sudden, Tiu stopped and he said, But is that a small guru? What is that? We backed up, and there was a big Nyala bull standing on the edge of the thicket grazing. and. Um, yeah, we were fortunate enough to make a quick stalk on him. He made a perfect shot right on the shoulder He didn't go one yard. So I'm um, very pleased with that as you guys can hear there's some thunder in the background It's about to rain uh, It's very humid um, But we're very fortunate at the beginning of the year to harvest some beautiful trophies and congratulations. Thank you uh, It's been a blast Remember, all the way down. There you go. Good morning, guys. Uh, we just finished having breakfast. We're on our way out to take a little drive and see if we can't find you another nice impala. Um, we're excited about the day. It's a bit overcast. Um, so, good thing is the sun is not going to burn us today. <laughs> it's a bit humid, but it's uh, one of those things if you're on this time of year. But so far we've had great success on all the animals we wanted, plus some extra animals, so um, yeah, we're having fun. You having fun too? Yes, but what do you mean some nice impala? We are looking for a huge impala. A monster impala. Monster impala. Okay, there you go. Let's go find one. little cousin. Animals we've seen the most, it's the most difficult to get. <laughs> we just came back from a, a little walk and we bumped the impalas again. We almost got on a nice mail, they just didn't quite give us a, enough time to get into a comfortable position to, to take a shot so they head into the thick stuff again and we're off to find a, a different group of impalas and see if we can't get all two here on a, another one
shot. Straight chest. <laughs> It was Thank not you. an easy shot, it was a very, very small target <laughs> um, A hole to push through Through the bush <laughs> But you did it, very good job Thank you <laughs> They didn't want to play today, but we got him finally Congratulations. On the spot. <laughs> Thank you. Very nice. Beautiful in Paula. Good morning guys. I'm, I'm sitting here with Theo again. Um, we had a uh, a busy morning um, we after breakfast we went out trying to look for impalas and all of a sudden they all disappeared um, we've been seeing them all over the place and uh, we talked about taking a second one um, and yeah, for some reason they just kept on giving us a slip and we were on our way back to camp now quickly and we spotted a, a herd of impalas and just on the edge of the thick brush again and they were busy grazing out and we managed to have an opportunity at this beautiful impala ram in front of us and it was a tight shot you had to squeeze it in between some brush perfect in the chase and you made it happen and you finally dropped one in the spot <laughs> congratulations <laughs> it's you. um a beautiful beautiful impala you made a good shot good trophy so far this, um, one, this one was a bit challenging yes but the good ones normally are <laughs> sit in the blind this morning um, a little bit late we're running about a half an hour late um, reasons which could not be um, said on camera so uh, our plan is to go and sit and see if we can't get lucky with a big baboon um, we have them coming into a bush pig bait every day there's a big old solitary male coming in so uh, we're gonna try and see if we can't outsmart him
So he's the one responsible for eating all the bush pig bait. <laughs> so um, yeah, all the corns. very good one to take out. Chok. Monster. Monster, monster, monster. Well, first of all, it's um, it's actually a very difficult animal to get. Um, they've got a very good sixth sense, if you can call it that. Um, very good eyesight as well. So the smallest movement, the smallest thing that's out of place, they pick up on it. And yeah, they just skiddy an skittish animals. It's a difficult thing to to get close to. Um, they spot you from a distance and. They don't normally stand still and give you the perfect shot, so a quick shot, normally a running shot is what it takes or a long shot at the distance where they're sitting up in the tree. Um, but yeah, if you're fortunate enough like this setup, we shot this um, about 20 yards away, so <laughs> good job once again. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a, it's a underrated trophy, I think. Um, the more advanced hunters um, they start having a, a big baboon on the list because they know it's a, such a difficult thing to get. Um, but yeah, it's, it's always fun going after a challenging animal. Another good morning here in South Africa. I'm sitting here with Theo. Um, <laughs> we've got a very big baboon in front of us. Um, he managed to shoot him at 20 yards. Uh, long story short, uh, we, we saw on the camera at one of the bush pig baits there's a nuisance baboon, a big old male coming in and he's eating all the corn. So they are responsible for breaking down the bush pig feeders also. That one we added strapped to a tree with chains um, to prevent them from breaking it and everything. So yeah, we thought this might be a good idea to take him out of the, the runnings. <laughs> um, stop him from causing havoc and eating all the corn and breaking everything. Um, baboons in South Africa are also responsible especially if you have thatch roofs like what we have here at the lodge they just pull it out and it's the amount of damage they can do is amazing so yeah you shot a beautiful big old male here congratulations thank you um yeah perfect shot he didn't go he dropped stone dead right in his tracks so um yeah congratulations on a big old baboon uh, what do you think of it it's the biggest one I ever shot. <laughs> <laughs> you catch up fast. <laughs> biggest one you ever shot. Every great morning starts with a good breakfast. <laughs> We're on our way out again to see if we can't um, find some blaze buck. You said he might be interested in the big one if we can find it. So yeah, we're gonna go have a look and we'll keep you posted. shooting stick start walking you rehydrated you're good to go this, this might happen very quickly it might happen in an hour or two from now so let's see what happens um yeah let's go for a walk
the females have horns. So what we're trying to looking for is um, trying to look for is the males got thicker horns, thicker bases. Where the, the females will will be like this, the males will be like this, but thicker. And if it's an older male, you can sort it becomes like white on the horns. So that's what you also need to to look out for, just to make sure we're on the right one. Very good shot. Yes. How long should that be? 200. 200. Croatian sniper. <laughs> Call this spear grass, ah. and that's why you call it spear grass. It's like a little mm -hmm. spear. <laughs> yeah, but uh, like we said, the, the angle you were standing, you were supposed to shoot him here somewhere. But a uh, very nice place, Pop. You got in the lungs. So. Yes, you got him in the lungs. Congratulations! Very Thank good you. shot. 200 yards, 220 yards. Not easy, but you made it work. So, Blaze Park, we've been seeing them every day. And as we said earlier, once you start hunting something, the game changes. They just knew we were after them. They made it difficult. We had to make a couple of stalks before we finally managed to, to get you on a, a big Blaze Park. He managed to take a shot about 200, 220 meters and stuff quartering away shot. But once again, we know the ability of you and he did not disappoint us. He made a perfect shot quartering away and the, the blaze puck went about 20, 30 yards and he was dead behind the bush. So you did not disappoint. He made another perfect shot and a very big blaze puck. Hello guys, I'm sitting here with you. It's a very hot day. It's um, completely different from the past cup planting days we had. It's hot, <laughs> very hot. You can see we sweating like pigs. We're sitting here with a beautiful blaze puck, uh, blaze puck we just shot this morning. Uh, about what, half an hour or what ago. Um, you made a perfect shot at about 200, 210, 220 yards. Um, Stuff quartering away, you smacked him, he went 20 yards, and here's the results of a beautiful blaze park. Congratulations! Thank you. Um, how was it? How was the stalk? <laughs> uh, it was warm, but uh, it didn't. They didn't want us to come closer, so we we take the shot that we could. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately with blaze park sometimes they know how to stay out of a, a, a close shooting position so a lot of times you have to stretch a bit out there and shoot them at the 100, 200 or even sometimes a bit more, um, 300 meters. It's, um, they like to run, they like the open areas, um, but we managed to get this one at a, a fairly decent distance. So congratulations. Thank you. Beautiful, beautiful blaze park. I think when I get home, I'm gonna need to hit the gym and I'm gonna diet because uh, every day we had a lot of food, some drinks after a hunt, everything was perfect. We were drying outside almost every night and, uh, with a beautiful sunset and it's really beautiful camp and, uh, and amazing people around here. So it was everything perfect. What can you expect when booking a safari with Africa Sun Safaris? Like I said, our motto is where memories are made. That's, that's what we stand for. From 
all the accommodation, all the food, all the staff, fine professional staff, always well dressed and friendly, um, always very comfortable rooms, air conditioning, it's just five star accommodation in my eyes, it's, it, it's all you can need and hope for when coming to Africa, a nice comfortable bed to sleep in, um, the days you want to relax at the swimming pool of course, um, the meals, we can't say enough about the meals, uh, we have very good um, chefs that prepare, prepare the food, excellent dishes, desserts, you name it. Um, you can definitely be assured the chances of you gaining some weight on a safari is a big possibility. But that's, that's one of those things. Um, <laughs> you will not go hungry. We have plenty of game, plenty of quality game. Big areas, like we said, we cater for all the different type of hunters. The most experienced, the first time hunters, bow hunters, pistol hunters even. We do it all, we strive ourselves, like I said, to, to add that personal touch. To, to a safari to, to make you feel like, like family at the end of the day and make sure you're safe and professional. All the, the, the professional hunters we use are hand picked of course are also family friends. So you will always get with with any individual PH you hunt with you'll get the, the personalized touch you'll get when you hunt with myself for example. At the end of the end of the day we're we're a big family and we Welcome all hunters and all clients, even if it's just a photographic safari. Um, we're looking forward to seeing you all and sharing this beautiful country of ours and help you experience South Africa the way we experience it and, and, and give you something to long for, to, to come back and, and enjoy it with us again. Thanks, well, guys. Cheers. There you have it, everyone. That's the way the cookie crumbles in South Africa. That's it. Cheers, guys. Hope you enjoy the film and uh, see you in the next one.